What's going on YouTube? Hey guys, it's Ben. And in today's video, I'm gonna be talking to you guys about my income streams. All right, so you've probably heard this over and over and over on whatever channel or whatever reading that you do that it's really, really important to do something called diversification, which essentially means not putting all of your eggs in one basket. And so this is things like, you know, having multiple income streams where you're pulling income from different various side hustles or main hustles or whatever it may be, but basically you're diversifying your income so that if one income stream drops off, you have others to rely upon and you're basically never gonna be without income. Now it's actually very debatable on how many income streams you should actually have considering the fact that income streams take time. I mean you're gaining income and you're actually doing something to get that income and so the amount of time you actually input into what you're getting out is very relatable to how many income streams you should have. So if you have one thing that's making you a ton of money and you spend a an equitable amount of time on it, that's totally reasonable. But if you have something that's not making you a ton of money, but you're spending an exorbitant amount of time on it, that's something you should probably nix and find a new income stream. So it's really, really important to figure out how many income streams you should have, which income streams you should have, and how you should prioritize them. All right, so I'm gonna get totally transparent, as always with you guys, and tell you exactly what my current four income streams are and what percentage of time I put into them, what percentage they actually earn me, and dollar figures behind them. So let's get right into that. So as you can imagine, my recruiting agency is pretty much all I talk about on this channel currently, although I'd like to move this channel more into investment and startup and business and entrepreneurship, but recruiting currently is the biggest thing I talk about on this channel, and lo and behold, it is my biggest income stream at about 60%, meaning I spend about 60% of my time on that income stream, and I will tell you then what it makes me based on my 60% input on time. My second income stream is something that actually started recently. It was about just under a year ago, and it's career consulting. So I work with um, clients, candidates, people that are making transitions, coming out of retirement, doing whatever, and handling their resume, editing things, helping them into new jobs, and basically consulting them through the process for a one-time fee. This has proven to be really, really lucrative, and this is my second income stream, and I put about 20% of my time into this income stream. So my next income stream is super random. So my uncle actually owns a property management company and he brought me on to basically handle being a liaison between myself and the vendors and all sorts of things that go with property management. He's actually in another state. I collect a fee, a salary essentially, for managing phone calls, emails, and different things. And that actually takes up about... I would say 10% of my time. And so that's what I put in for my third income stream, um, the property management gig. So topping off the entire holistic income streams that I have, four of them currently is YouTube. So uh, as you know, I vlog every single day on topics about recruitment, soon to be again, entrepreneurial, real estate, investment, startup business, pretty much everything in between because I love talking about all that stuff. And I know a lot of you guys are really interested in those topics because if you're interested in what I'm talking about so far, it seems to be that you're interested in a lot of those topics um, because they kind of you know, fold over each other. But currently my YouTube income stream, I ping at about 10%. Now that's actually inflated because I'm currently still setting up my in income stream, actually getting it set up and getting my ads and everything in place. But I ping that at about 10% to cover my entire four income streams. But in reality, ultimately that will be pennies and it's not gonna be a serious income stream per se um, that you would define. Now this is something you should really pay attention to because I've done this in a way by design so that the exact amount of time I put into each and every income stream is pretty much precisely the exact amount of income that I extract from that income stream. And that's exactly how it should be. You shouldn't have an income stream that you put 60% of your time in and extract 20% of your income from. That's just not gonna work. Just because I'm extremely transparent and open about everything on this channel, including my exact income figures, I will totally dive deeper on the dollar figures of the income streams that I have currently. And let's get into that right now. So these are all gonna be figures for the fiscal year of 2019. And so let's start with my recruiting agency, which I put in about 60% of my time effort and it 
basically results in 60% of my total income as far as an income stream. So for my recruiting agency, it is basically pacing to be just under multiple six figures for the year of 2019. My newly added career consulting firm that takes about 20% of my time input is currently going to net for fiscal 2019 just under six figures in income. The property management role that I have for my uncle's company, basically I just rounded it out and it's approximately $20,000 in annual revenue for me. Um, and I again put about 10% time into that. Last but not least, I am estimating on my annual revenue. Um, currently I don't have a number for 2019, but I estimate once I get everything set up and everything good to run that my YouTube revenue should be somewhere on an annual basis um, between $5,000 and $10,000 in total revenue once I get all the ads set up and once I get the total viewership that I need. But right now, once it begins, it's going to be pennies on the dollar. But I'm estimating uh, for 2019 and beyond that that's where it will be at, um, just based on doing some simple research on Social Blade and things like that. However, what I do make up for in my super low, practically non-existent YouTube income stream is the possibility of you smashing that like button for me so that this channel can explode and absolutely just radiate across YouTube with the YouTube algorithm, seeing you smash all those like buttons and I would truly, truly appreciate that. No, like really, I would appreciate that. In all seriousness, it's extremely imperative that you totally look at your financial picture and look at your diversification possibilities for your future financial picture as a whole. For me personally, my next move is real estate. So I'm identifying possible purchases of duplexes or rentals or even Airbnbs or things like that. And real estate is going to be my next move for a next income stream so that I can have a total of five income streams hopefully and put that all together to make some really nice passive and active income so that I can rely on all sorts of income streams to help me out. What I'm honing in on is at the end of the day, you absolutely cannot rely on just collecting checks on recruiting or real estate or whatever it is that you're doing business-wise. You have to make that money work for you and you have to put it into a diversification model. So whether that's real estate, whether that's investing in other things, or whether it's just spreading out your money and hedging your bets, you absolutely need a strategy to make your money work for you rather than have it just sit there because in five, 10 years, that money will just be sitting there just like that. And it's not going to be really doing anything for you. Whereas it could be doing massive amounts of things for you and making you tons and tons of money. So if you're completely green to this concept of diversifying your income and investing in things, I'm going to give you three simple nuggets that you can implement pretty much any time at all. And they're very, very simple. The things that I do and am working on consistently that you can start now and expand upon later. Number one would be to open up a Roth IRA. Now pretty much any bank institution can open you up a Roth IRA. You can look online, Vanguard is a really, really good institution to open up a Roth IRA with. And basically what it is, is an account that you max out at $5,500 annually. You put that in and you essentially wait until retirement age and you basically cash out hopefully multiple millions of dollars if you do it at the right age. Now, people that do this at 18 are almost guaranteed to take out around $3 million or so. People that do this around the age of 30, they're looking at maybe taking out $900,000 or something along those lines. But on average, a Roth IRA is looking at a 7% return or so, and it's a really good bet, and you can thank me later when you buy that mansion at 65 years old. If you watch my videos consistently, you know that recruitment is the main topic I discuss, but recruitment does not have to be your life. You can add on side hustles just as I had created a consulting firm for clients and candidates that are transitioning and need resume help, need career coaching, and so on and so forth. And that side hustle is quite lucrative. So considering adding more side hustles to your income streams is definitely a good move. Just identify what you're good at. Just identify some things that you could put some serious effort into that's not going to take up too much of your time and take away from your recruiting agency, but add more things on that are businesses that will be lucrative for you and you will thank me later for that tip.
Now, if you're one of those people that just has loads of cash sitting around in checking accounts that aren't earning you any money, why don't you just go ahead and get into real estate right now? So real estate prices are already dipping. People are talking about recessions. I don't know if that's true or not. I'm not a financial advisor. I'm not in real estate currently. But if you are looking into this, this could be a really, really good time to get in, especially if we do dip down into some form of recession. Buying a duplex, buying a rental that you can rent out, um, buying something that you can Airbnb, these things are extremely lucrative. I follow them closely because it is my next step, something that I want to get into. And if you're in the market for that sort of thing, you have the cash lying around for down payments, or you're able to leverage money through a bank, I would definitely go that route and use that as your next income stream. Overall, guys, I just wanted to give you a really good picture of what my financial income streams look like. I wanted to restate to you that you should definitely be diversifying your money as it comes in. You know, we get $10,000 checks, $15,000 checks, $20,000 checks, and you should be doing stuff with that money. It should not just sit there and wait. So obviously you have to pay Uncle Sam taxes, but at the end of the day, with your income, you should be doing stuff with that. That's all I've got today for Friday. I will definitely catch you guys on Saturday. Take care.